All right, Daddy Jack's Cookware Blues here. My good pal, Axel. Sit. Start acting up when it's time to start rolling, right? You excited too? Okay. Hey, so uh, just getting over two weeks of the flu year end. Well, what a year 2020 has been. Hopefully 2021 is a lot more smoother. But I've had uh, I had the flu starting off in January, five days in the hospital, heart surgery, but you know, through it all, we're still here, we're smiling. Glad to be alive, you know, and uh, Lakeisha took uh, such good care of me all through the ups and downs of this year, you know, just uh, so thankful for that. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, um, I pulled out my mom's recipe boxes, you know, it goes back, her mac and cheese, I've had a, a million people's mac and cheese and no, nothing's ever compared, you know, and uh, so I pulled out a recipe. Uh, a recipe box today been thinking about it and I'm gonna make her um, the real macaroni and cheese the best I ever had so um, so what I do is I've got I've got the water boiling I think I did yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there she goes to me it's a lot easier trying to get the water boiling on top of the stove Look at that. I tell you, it take 30, 40 minutes to uh, to get that going. But we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook our pasta. I didn't have uh, we didn't have Dubcheco, but next best thing, nice Italian-made pasta. Got to have these small shells. You know, it traps some of the good uh, cheese sauce in there. stir your pasta when you put it in the water again I'm not putting any salt in there because our sauce is going to be plenty uh, salty so we're going to cut up a couple of onions so pretty much this goes together as soon as that pasta is cooked I think we'll time it where our sauce will be ready Well, you know, good old Velveeta. Like I said, I had some left at the restaurant. And uh, we'll just shut down the restaurant until the end of the year. Seeing what shakes out after the first of the year. So, uh, Then, I'm going to get a little bit of butter. Tell you, it's not something you want to eat every, every week, but you know, once in a while for special occasions. So we'll cut the onion. a lot of onions and uh, mac and cheese gotta cook them cook them well done real, to, to real soft though that's the most important wearing my Pat Patriots hat in memory didn't do so good last night out of the playoffs but Can't be, a, can't be a bandwagon fan. You got to stay with it through thick and thin. We've had a lot of goods, ups and downs, but. And. Part of these new aprons. This is a prototype. Cooking with the blues. We'll be selling them up on our website, uh, daddyjacksnewlondon.com, along with our blackened seasoning. 
and uh, so crank this up a little bit and uh, we'll get this going real good and then uh, we'll be right back Hey, Jack's cooking with the blues. All right, come on in. I had to switch to the back burner. Get some heat on the subject. Get my whole wheat flour that my buddy Keith milled up for me. See? Make our roux. We gotta thicken up our milk. Okay, cook our flour a little bit. Now we're just gonna have a little bit more. Out a little bit. He's got that's some nice whole milk. Different uh, fiddleheads. He's got some got some cream. You know the old fashioned cream rises to the top. Don't want to lose that. And then the pasta. I definitely want to cook it like a little little bit al dente because we're gonna mix it back in with our hot sauce and then. Uh, So let's work out some of the, make sure we don't have any lumps. So we're gonna mix in our Velveeta. To me, you can mess around with all different kinds of cheeses or whatever, but for my money, I'll go with Velveeta. it up so it'll melt a little quicker. And, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, the Daddy Jack's blackened seasoning. mustard. I'm going to put a spoon of Dijon. Okay. Yeah, those pasta shells are kind of right where I want it. So I'm going to strain them off. Don't, don't rinse, don't rinse your pasta. We'll lay them out on the sheet pan until we're ready to use them. Bring this over to this side here. And we're just gonna melt this all down and we'll be right back.
axle Come over here so uh here it is come on in look at the cheese sauce beautiful cheese sauce right there oh boy added, added just a little bit of black pepper and uh add our noodles Again, see how I tilt the pan? Let gravity feed down. Make sure everything's coated real nice. All the pasta shells. his ears go back. Mm. What are you listening for? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do a small dish. Waste not want not here, but actually Axel will do the. You gotta be careful with Axel. He's stomach, his stomach seems to be getting a little funny. I fed him a pear yesterday, and uh, I don't know for some reason he didn't go for it. Right, Lakeisha? Yeah, unfortunately. So, um, what mom used to do is she used to just put breadcrumbs on top. But I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. A little bit of uh, Ritz cracker crumbs. Okay. And some bread crumbs. those childhood memories you, you remember but on a Saturday afternoon I think I've said it before but watching Sky King and some of those afternoon shows on Saturday afternoons when it was cold out and uh, mom mom would make that macaroni and cheese and then serve it with her chunky uh, applesauce mm. oh my god I can taste it there would be a her sauce. Her apple sauce had like a like a red color to it. I don't know what kind of apple she was using, but ah, there's nothing better. Nothing yeah. better. Cheese and apples. Right, Axel. Uh -huh. Let Axel try a little taste. Okay. So, watch out, Axel. Watch out, buddy. So, into 300 and a quarter degree oven, so it's nice and bubbly hot. That's it. Going in, Mama, Mama C's uh, macaroni and cheese, best I ever had. We're going to see if I can duplicate it. <laughs> Peace. All right, we are red eye gravy. I smell it when it's ready. Woo! Oh, yeah. 
bubbling hot. Wish she had a few green onions to put on top. Look at that thing bubbling. I think there's some in the fridge, hon. Huh? There's some in the fridge. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, mess with it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that's it. We got our official mac macaroni and cheese taste tester over here. Titus. How's that look, Titus? Looks real good. Yeah. <clears throat> He's used to that Amy's. He does a lot of quick, you know, <laughs> quick, uh, what do you, what do you call that? Instant, instant mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He digs those, but it's a little bit different. Um, okay. What's the real deal? Mama C's Mac Daddy Mac and Cheese. Right, Lakeisha? Mm-hmm. Get a little Can't taste wait of this. To taste it. Uh huh. Yeah, so I was saying at the beginning of the video, I was down, I was down with that flu for two weeks, and I, I, I had a scare because I thought it was COVID, tested negative, and uh, but seven days with fever between 100 and 103, right, Lakeisha? Mm -hmm. It was weird. On and off. On yeah. and off. Yeah. On and off. It would spike, a, you know, real short, short term at 103, but right. but. Uh, Lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Lost like 10, 10 pounds in two weeks, but yeah. it's good to be back. So I really haven't eaten a whole lot in the last, uh, you know, two couple weeks, but. Mm. It's good to be back. Amen to that. You know. With God's blessings. What do you think, Titus? It's real good. A little hot. Oh, oh yeah. It's bubbling hot right out of the oven. But. Pretty close to where I remember my mother making it. It's even better reheated the second day once that pasta absorbs all that sauce. Mm -hmm. I think you'll like it, Leticia. Mm. It is Danny Jack's Cool with the Blues wrapping up 2020 and. Uh, Wish everybody the best in uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. Good health, you know. We got the vaccines coming. Everybody should, uh, you know, be close in the summertime to getting it. Hopefully, we can eradicate and get back to you know life and business as normal. And uh, if you'd like to become a member of uh, Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues? It's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Cooking with the Blues. Uh, for memorabilia, hats, eventually soon we'll be having these aprons available. Sam Myers CD, uh, soon a live at Daddy Jack's uh, that we recorded with five or six different bands. Uh, that'll be on uh, uh, newlondon.com or daddyjacksnewlondon.com. But anyway, Lakeisha Lee on camera. Can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me the last couple weeks and the whole year. Love you. I love you. Titus, bon appetit. All right, peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>